hello everyone let's check this out here if we are live i think so i think it is here we go it is awesome at the right place let's make sure the volume is there Yep, it's working. Perfect. Perfect. So welcome to our um, our live at lunchtime. Um, I'm going to do some cards with some uh, dies. The die in the annual catalog are 20% off. So if you watch this live down the road, uh, this sale is only for three short days, okay? Well, days are the same length, but I mean, it's just three days. So November 16, 17, 18, 2021. 20, the dies are 20% discount. That's the die from the annual catalog. All Stamping Up Ink Pad, 15% discount and the cardstock 10% discount. So it's a great time to uh, stock up. It's many of the dies in the catalog that stand by itself, meaning you don't even really have to have a stamp set with it. So that's the one that I'm gonna showcase today and do cards with. The two, I'm gonna do two cards. The two cards that I'm gonna uh, make, the supplies list, it's right below, you get the link, okay? And I'm using the Eden Garden paper, the Eden paper. That is only available while supplies last and also the gem, so keep that in mind. Anybody that buy the Eden Garden from me this month will receive a download of 16 cards. And that the, Eden uh, Garden bundle will be in the new catalog, but not the design of Siri paper, not the cotton paper, and not the blinks. So, uh, but the bundle per se will be in the annual cat, uh, not annual catalog, but January, June special. So thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you for telling your friends. So let's flip this down and let's get jiggy with it. Here we go. So um, before I get started, so I already get prepped the stuff that we're going to be working, but I want to share with you some of the fun cards that I think the, you know, the die, it's so lovely. And that would be one, the, the border die. You see me using that one quite a bit. I just gather quick. That is the border die, and we're going to be using the border die today also. And this is this one. You get six dies, and uh, and all the dies I'm sharing, they're all in the annual catalog, okay? So you don't have to worry which catalog that I um, get that. And our die in the annual catalog start on page one. Let me pull this back up. 157 all the way to 166. 157 to 166, okay? Voila. So, the border die, I absolutely love it. Another card that I know you saw me do, uh, it was, I think it was a lunchtime. It's this one here with the clouds and the after the storm. So that is using the basic uh, border dies. So I say this one, for me, it was a must have, especially with the stitch, uh, all the finishing of the stitch and those cloud uh, border sole me, right? And to go with that lovely stamp set of mine. Okay, and this, you can do it uh, in this direction too, but note that if you do it in this direction, you know, it don't open, except if you put your other border tied to the back, to the, the card front, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay, so that I had done a bunch of them. I love this. Now, another one that 
uh, I think go very well that you don't need, you know, that spaceship uh, thing. It's the swirl. Give it a whirl, it's called. Yeah, give it a whirl. Here's a card. Well, I thought, what did I do with all my cards? Oh, here it is. So see this one here, I did it with, again, after the storm and the whale, but you can use different, you can use happy birthday, you can use any stamp set as long as it fit in, uh, that's one and a quarter, I think, circle, let me, I mean, it's part of the die, but if you're looking for a stamp set that fit, I think it's one and a quarter, no, one and a half. So if you get any stamp set, one and a half, you know, that fit in one and a half circle, gonna be perfect for this. So it give you three spin, okay? I mean, three windows. And then you get different shape too. That's the circle. You get the lovely clouds in that also, that, that's the vellum clouds on this. You get the stars and two more clouds there. And then this is an opening too. You can now, uh, the pie shape, I call it. So uh, another stamp, uh, not stamp, but another die that stand by itself. And it's more in this, here, here we go. And that's the part itself, you know, that cut that little tip. And I got a video on this die. So don't think you're buying this die, you're gonna be lost wondering how to make that work. I got a video. You get the heart shape for the uh, window. So instead of the circle, you can have the heart. You get, you could do a frame around this with the scallop frame. You get the rectangle, you get banner. So it's quite a bit of a big die. Absolutely a big die. So, and what I'm sharing right now, it's card that using dies that uh, stand by itself. You know, you don't, have to have the bundle you can use other stamp set that you already got on hand and the dies are 20 percent off now today we're going to use oh let's finish this bundle here is the inspiring canopy that is mm, i'm going to use this i think thursday night at my uh, create on the fly i think that's what it's calling my name for thursday um let me move that there. I absolutely love this row of trees. Lovely. Somebody got that die but didn't play with it yet. Well, uh, I think it's a beautiful. So I did it horizontal and vertical. See, and that's with the window sheet. Also this, I got a video on that, okay? That was one of the Christmas uh, month, every month. I use that for Christmas card. Here we go. So another die, again, they're 20% off, and it's die that I think that stand by itself, meaning that um, you can use it with many stamp sets that you already have on hand. Okay, go back here. Here we go. Now, um, this one here, I didn't even finish a card with it. That's the Encircled in Beauty. Uh, I got a few punch out here, but I don't think I finished a card using that yet. See, very, very uh, pretty. And then you can do all the bits and pieces there. I think I use it in a card. Yes, yes, yes. Where is it? Not long ago. Oh, I remember. Yes, that was, I did that last week, I think. This is this die right here. The one in the center right there. I knew I used it. Here we go. So that's another lovely die that stand by itself. You don't need that special stamp set. You can use many stamp set that you already have on hand. One that use over and over, it's this uh, Stitch So Sweetly, the scallop rectangle, and you get those nine, nice frames. So that, I'm sure you see that all over, right? It's used over and over. The Ornit uh, Frames, uh, that one, I had a sampler. I got a few things marked off, but many uh, different frames. I'm missing two there. I saw them, they fell, but. So you get 
a nice clue. So sometimes, you know, you want something for like the greeting and so on. Et voila. Another one that in frame for greeting or it's the tasteful label. Um, this is kind of a double stitch, not double stitch, but double frame. It's very lovely. So you get all those different ones. So that would be a great one to have for um, sometimes, you know, you get pretty much every size for this that you would use like for greeting. I love those frame for greeting. Absolutely love it for greeting. So um, here we go. Okay, not time to place that. Let's keep on going because I got a lot to show, right? And then we want to make a few cards. Now one that I didn't play with, but I, it's been on my desk because I want to play with that. I saw so many cool things with that. It's the la uh, layering uh, diorama. Look at that. It, for me, it looks like ponds. I, it's so many things we could do with that. So that also can be used with many stamps that you get on end. Now you got the Taylor tag that, of course, stands by itself. So you get all those tags. So that it's a set of 10 uh, tags. Very lovely. Uh, Jocelyn said she used them a lot. Yeah, those tags are very, very lovely. Now you get the stitch with whimsy. That it's a fun, it's all like frame with stitch. So this don't cut, okay? Want to make sure you understand, this won't cut this shape. It's just do the stitch around. Remember that, okay? This don't die cut, really do the stitch. I should be clear on that. Because somebody bought that, she said, my uh, die is not working, it's not cutting. No, this don't cut, it do a stitch, okay? You know what, I want to show you. Let me grab a piece of cardstock. I really think I need to show you this. Because I had somebody disappointed, and I don't want you to be disappointed. It won't be long. I'm rolling that in my machine here. I'm going to be right back. Okay. So this here, see, it don't cut. Can we see uh, with the light here? I think so. So you get all that, those nice stitch. Okay, so now uh, you know it don't cut, but it's stitch. So it's really stitch with whimsy, right? So remember that. Now this one here is lovely. I used that one uh, last year. It was on my desk pretty much all the time. Uh, that's the ornate layers. So you get beautiful, beautiful frame in this, beautiful frames. And you get the stitch rectangle that I don't even think I brought it. Um, it's quite a bit more. I just gather some. Uh, let me... Um, so you get the layer, layering circle that it's very um, go with anything. The whimsy we did. Then you get the flower market. You get the, um, this would be great for leaves, but too, it go more with the same set. So I'm gonna stay with what's go more with by itself. The Ippo friend, they'll get beautiful frames, beautiful frames. Uh, the daisy, some of it go very by itself, but also with the dyes. So you get more in this, like the Uggs go perfectly by itself, the Uggs. So you get more that stand by itself, very lovely. I just share a tin bits of it, put it that way. Today we're going to be using the scallop contour. So you get those beautiful frames. That's one that I've been using over and over lately. And then the metal. The metal is very lovely. So that's all from the animal catalog. So it is all cards 
that, uh, I mean, dyes that you can use at all time, and you don't need a specific stamp set for it. It will stand by itself. So now, let's go here, and we're going to, I, and I pre-cut just to step up because I wanted to share more of this, the dyes and so on. So I'm going to do this part first here, and my paper was already cut. This is the cotton paper that is with the Eden Garden, but I'm still going to use it. I, we're going to cut it with the scallop frame. This is a little bit thicker than the tissue paper, okay? So if you compare that, I thought it was more like a mulberry paper. It is not. So don't think this is like a mulberry paper, even if it's a cotton. It's not a mulberry. Well, it don't peel like a mulberry paper or tear like a mulberry paper. It's really more like a tissue paper. You get one side, though it's kind of a bit of a glaze and a sign that it's more like unfinished. Now, yeah, you're just going to crunch that. I think this is the best way to use this paper, really. And now what we're going to do is then open this up. Now, with your glue, the Tombow glue, I know many of you don't realize that. Some of you are going to say, well, come on, it's obvious. Well, it's not obvious. This, so you get the fine tip. And, oh, I, when I said the fine tip, it reminded me of um, um, a, a song by Darby Parton. Um, oh, gosh, I cannot know the name now. And then you get the fat tip. You want to use the fat tip for this, okay? And the reason why is because, see, you can lay your glue all over and spread that out and not having all those big chunks. So you're going to spread that. Not too much on the side because, really, my paper is smaller than my... Uh, you would want, usually, your tissue paper to be, or your cotton paper, to be bigger than this then the the layer there so you're just going to put that there and give give some character to this here this one is just a little bit but it's still quite a bit of character now i'm just going to press that and then before i put it in the the die cut machine i really want to let the glue to dry up okay let that dry up here we go. See? Okay. We're going to let that dry. We're going to do another card. So, like I said, I was using the, the basic border. I absolutely love the basic border. And this time, I'm using the little scallop. Well, I wanted to speed up the process because I some of you I know have to go back to work or so on. So I cut this part first, and so I put my die and run it in the machine. So when you run it in the machine, so this would be your machine here, so you have to open the, uh, the thing, okay? So my best advice on this one is you're going to hear the speed bump. You don't have no choice. But what you want to make sure, though, when you put that here, you want to make sure that your die don't pass your plate because that would damage your plate if it passed. You know, you cannot go like this. See, that would damage your plate. If you die cut a piece of just like a card, a strip or another piece that it's not the full card, you know, then you want to run it this way on vertical and the reason why you want to run it this way it's going to cut much better it's going to go smooth well sometimes you don't have no choice so you will do it on the speed bump side and what i mean by the speed bump when it hit the die it's going to go boom and when it go off boom so it kaboom kaboom just like a speed bump okay so, but when you do it on this side, you have to make sure that your die don't pass on any side of your plate. But when it's just one piece like this, 
pass it this way, your die is safe, and so it cut easier also. But when I cut that, I thought, okay, I'm just going to cut that and call it good, right? Well, I was off a little bit. So when I put that here, see, I want to match that. See, I'm cockeyed here. See that? What the heck am I going to do with that? Because I don't want to ruin that paper. Well, here's my tip for you. Tip number one. Well, no, I already share many tips. Share tips with the dies, the whimsy. I, I think we're going to have a lot of die, uh, tips today, guys. So what you don't pay attention to this because this is what we need to put straight. Really, this is what was off. So I just want to cut a little bit. So right now I'm lining it up and see how bad it is. Can you see that? Yes, you can. See, this is in the groove and see how off, but this here it's completely straight. So let's say that it I was about here. Just guide yourself on a line. Sometimes you won't be able to be right on the line, but you could guide yourself in the center of two lines. See, there I would be. But I just need to be right, put that straight. So I'm going to put my scallop right here on the line. It happened that it is on the line as long as I get one piece there. But you can see how off I was. Now we're going to go ahead, cut this off. See, it's crazy, but that's, I mean, it don't show much, but it make a big difference when you put that. Now... <clears throat> Let me, if you don't have a sandpaper, I recommend go at Home Depot or the finest sand block you can find, and boom. We use that all the time. We used to sell them. We don't anymore. But I think it's a must app in your room. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to glue that. See now how lovely that it match. Is that awesome? It fit perfect. I think I want a little bit of dots on this one. And I'm going to use the uh, stamp set that go with that. That's the only stamp set I'm going to use because it's going to be all thinking of you cards that I'm going to make. But uh, you can use, remember, any stamp set because this die, yes, this is the stamp set that go with it. This die would go by itself, absolutely go by itself. Okay, and I'm using Blackberry Bliss, and I want to have just a little bit of dots. And there, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and glue this together. So now that we straight that up, we're going to come and glue this together. Another thing that I should uh, mention, when you die cut, you're going to see one side is the right side, wrong side. This is very smooth. You could use the back side too, but the front, it's very smooth. That's the side that the, the die really punch it down. And the back, it's rough. So now, let, oops, let's go ahead and you know what? If we go this way, it's a lot easier to line up, right? And now I got the perfect edge all around. Not only there, but on the edge, it's, oops, here, let me, I'm not, let me turn this a bit here. Here we go. All straight. Let me open this up. See? All straight and straight at the bottom also. So now I got a lovely... Yes, you can always do the bone folder like uh, Lori said, but it's still going to... Um, all those little stitch still going to be uh, not pronounced like this if you use the back side. You could use it. Like I said, you could use it, but it's one side. It's a lot smoother. Okay. Now, if I would have been smart, 
I said that's right. If I would have been smart when I cut this off, I would have used the adhesive sheet. I was just cutting happy because I wanted to show you all those beautiful flowers in um, the meadow uh, dyes. And I was like, oh, these are so pretty. And then I did the butterfly and, uh, and I got two little butterflies. That's all in the meadow, okay, including this uh, frame. It's all part of the meadow dye. Well, here it is, the meadow dye. And it's a lot of dyes that I didn't even use. You get the little thing to do the tags and so on. You get the tiny bitty tag. Um, but I was just cutting and I was not planning to use them. I thought to use another color. And after I was done cutting, I'm like, you know what? I love the black. So um, I would have used the adhesive sheet would be much better because you know, I would just peel and then boom. This one gonna go there. And we're going to put this one right here with a butterfly. No, 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 sorry. This one over here. I got a surprise for this one. So we're going to put that this way. So let's glue that. Going to glue this. You just need a little bit of glue. It's just that if you use the adhesive sheet, oh, what a lovely thing. You know, you just peel that up and bloop, bloop, it's done. Okay, now we're gonna put that sideways a bit here. Now, our card, I'm gonna let that there. Our card here, I just uh, did a quarter sheet, well, less than a quarter, because it is four by five and a quarter, but I'm going to put another piece of white on top. It's just, I cut many of them by bowl, put it that way, so I could have cut this uh, piece uh, shorter, but I didn't like that, the lines there, so what I done, this is one inch by five, is it one inch? Mm. Or is it one inch? Yeah, it is one inch by five and a half. And I embossed that with the tasteful tick, ticks out. That is the, my embossing folder that is a, a must go for me. Because um, it's just add that texture to the paper. And if sometimes you don't want something big, that's my to go. So now we're going to use the full strip and put that right at the edge of the card here. So that, like I said, my layer could have been smaller, but here we go. And now I get this. Now, we're gonna use the tag, that's part of that suite, and I'm gonna put glue just on the back of it, and I was debating to put that between my layers here, so it would hide it. And after I was playing with it, I like it to show right in the back of it, just like this. I think it add a little something in the back of the card. So if you don't like this, no problem. Before you glue your layer and this strip, glue that on this side, on, under this here, and then put your layer, it's gonna cover that. But I like to have that there. Okay, and that's going to come right here. Now, that's going to be my closer. Now, we're going to use the butterfly right here. We're going to use a dimensional. And I'm just going to put it on the side here. Here we go. Now, we're going to take this. Make sure you don't put the dimensional on top of this because this is just really to hold your, see, like this. Now this gonna pull up, boom, boom. Now let's me, okay, um, let's do um, right here, first this. So now we are gonna take, this is the Garden Gems and that's the one that is just available while supplies last. 
what uh, uh, this is all that I'm using here this is all the metal this is all part of the metal nothing but the metal dies that I'm using for the cards today so this is this one right here I think that's what you were asking right Gail this one here it's all the all dies that I'm using it's all from the metal nothing but the metal for this card now we're going to use the jam and this is going to go in the center of my butterfly here see how cute that is but we're going to jazz it up one flower just one flower we got oh first i need my little dots so just one of the flower i got another video coming up with that let me show you it is coming but see what i done with that is that cool i think it's wicked cool so that video is coming up so those jam are so amazing we never add it's more like um oh lady diana cut i don't know what it's called those uh this cut but it's so cool we never add this shape uh, with stamping up before so um, I think for me it was very fun so now I'm just covering the petal on one card here you know what I think maybe I like by three there then there here we go so now the other two though i feel they're a little bit naked so i'm just gonna use some wings of stella and this one i'm gonna put both of them are gonna put to a center okay we will put the center they need a little bit of blink so i'm gonna take the center put that there and this here those uh gem you're going to be surprised depending which cardstock you're going to put they seem to change color is that fun so inside we got like i said I i'm just going to use this stamp set i just going to put thinking of you that's it so let me do the thinking of you Yeah, those embellishments are so, so fun. So fun. Et voila. So a very cute card. No special reason to send this card, but just tell somebody you're thinking about them, or you can wait for their birthday and so on. But see, very, very easy done, right? So now this here, that on top of the meadow though i will use the okay let me remove this so i'm not having a fiasco here okay uh, the scallop here we go it's the scallop contour so i'm going to share with you how to die cut with this so it's and you can uh, punch out too with that. Let me see if I can bring the die cut machine right here. I got a, a little bit of a mess because I got all those die that I put on this table there. So I'm going to put that there. So my trick, anytime you do a frame, a square, um, a rectangle, uh, any uh, shape that you don't want to have the long part first if well possible like this here if you tilt that just a little bit so what's going to happen when you tilt that it starts engaging at a corner and it rolls smooth if you go straight again you're going to hit that speed bump and when it's stitched it don't leave that stitch good so just go sideways a bit if you don't have no choice well you you go ahead and you don't do it but if you get choice go diagonal a little bit 
Mark Keys Shape. Yes, Cheryl, that is the word. The Mark Keys Shape. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Now, see, we even, and it just looked like very, it looked like a fabric when you're done like that. And you still get all the stitch. You could stamp on that if you want. Absolutely, you could. Or you can do uh, like we're going to do right now. But I really strongly recommend that you wait till your glue is dry before you pass that in the machine, okay? Now, for the card base here, it is uh, eight and a half by uh, five and a half square at four and a quarter. This is the soft succulent. So remember, all card stock. 12 by 12, 8 and a half by uh, 11, they all 10%. So it is the great time to stock up on your um, card stock. And ink, if you are missing some ink that you wish you have, now the ink, stamping up the ink. So not like a, a third party that would be like the Versamark, the Memento ink. Uh, stays on that it's not so it's the stamping up ink that it's at 15% so great time to stock up so cardstock 10% ink pad at 15% great time to stock up so that was the soft succulent now I got um, the layer it is four and one eight by five and three eight and this is the evening evergreen And 20% on uh, the dye that is very, very good. And somebody said, oh, 10, 15%, it's not much. But those basic, stepping up, keep the price as low as they can because that's the, the core of, our make, of what we need. So that's why you don't see that on sale often. So keep that in mind that the 10 and 15%, that's quite a bit, uh, it's rare that sales. So take advantage of it. Now this is the Eden Garden paper, the designer series paper, and that it's only available while supplies last, while the bundle will be in the new catalog. I get a bit here and the cotton paper that's part of the Eden uh, also the sweet that only available while the supplies last uh, the cotton paper you get another color to a dark one i'm doing a, a team challenge with this so i that's what's left of mine you get the evening uh, evergreen in the the cotton paper also okay so now this here it is four by five and a quarter and if you notice you get that beautiful uh, gold um, print on this so now we're going to go ahead and it's going to be kind of sad but i'm going to cover almost the whole shebang here so let me put that here so i just got a little border of the evening evergreen and you see i put the the flower and that's from the meadow okay the only thing this one that used another dye it's this it's from the scallop contour the rest that we're going to use it's all from the middle and i'm going to put that straight down no dimensional on this i'm going straight down and then we're going to put that right here those gem i'm telling you they're amazing and i would say um uh, one pack two pack mm, you're gonna use that especially i think that flower that i did i mean that's using quite a bit uh i absolutely love it see that and that's a quick card you stamp the branch you put your flowers the happy birthday boom it's done so um see i just start using it i'm almost done with the pack so uh maybe it's one pack won't be enough okay now i cut this one in gold and i wanted this one in the back in the black 
So we're going to put, uh, and I should have glued that first before I glue this because I'm going to have to trim this, but that's okay. We're going to manage it. So let me um, glue this here. And like I said, uh, if I thought I would have used black, I would have used the adhesive sheet. Would have been much, much easier, less frustration, but I was not planning to use black. I was just, and I was not even planning to use this dye fill. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This looks so good with this. So now I'm going to put that flower right here. So, you know, I could stand thinking of you in this frame, but I decided I was using the frame for uh, a closure. I I thought that was different and I wanted to show something different. So this is in the gold. Okay. Now we're going to glue that right here, but uh, that one we need to trim the bottom here. The stem, it's a little bit too long. Here we go. We're going to glue that. right here and I was debating to add more uh, in the bag and so on and I I went with two you know I like to add odd number well it's because we're gonna have more uh, to this card than just the flower and two it's plenty I think okay just make sure it's gonna stay glued there okay best way it's flip it down okay let's make sure it stay there okay now we're going to use the little butterfly that's the half butterfly so um let me get a glue dots here and even with the half butterfly we can go ahead here we go and use one of the gems Mm, you know what no I don't want the gem on the half I like it on the full one not the half I thought it would look good but no just going to put it that way now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our closing right here and again I like to have it in the back I just that is just me maybe I think it looked good to have that little tab in the back Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it when you all share my broadcast. That's how I can grow my business. So thank you, thank you. Now we're going to put that there. Now we're going to, and you know what? Mm, one second. I got my Blackberry Bliss here. And... Maybe I want to do black and then, okay, we get one there, one little minute there. And then uh, we're going to use a big one again at the bottom, use dimensional, where are we, where are we, here it is. So you want, uh, you want your dimensional on the left side, and we understand why. I see the top of my dimensional there. I don't want that. So maybe a little dimensional will be better than the big one. Here I go. I trim it off. Give him a little cut there. I'm going to put that right here. Now, yes, I want that link right here. Oh, pretty. And then we're going to use another little butterfly. And then I'm using a glue dot. Okay. 
Here we go. It adds some color, right? And then, yeah, the blackberry seem we don't really see much on this one. So maybe I would go with the black, okay? We don't really see it. So I think I would go with black. So now inside, so, whoops, make sure, you know what? I'm going to add a glue dots there because I hold it quite a bit with my hand just for when I was trying to push it down. Here we go. Push that there, here, perfect. Now inside, I got that, and I won't even put a greeting on that. So that could be last minute. We could add a greeting, or sometimes we don't add, need a greeting. Sometimes we just want to write a note. So not even a greeting on this. So this card, it's no stamping at all. Absolutely not. All dies. And that's going to tuck right there. Et voila. It's still very nice. So this, both closure are the same, just different... Um, different way to uh, create I guess with dies but those gem are so pretty and like I said the dies are 20% discount that's from the annual catalog and also the all cardstock eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 cardstock are 10% um, discount and the ink stamping up ink are 15 percent i hope you enjoyed my little lunch time with you and i get the hostess code above there uh, right above you right above there the host code if you order it's 40 dollars or more you're going to get a lovely uh, download you can see it on my very beauty um Paper, uh, designer series paper you get box card fun fold and so on beautiful beautiful uh, project this month so that is it so i'm glad you enjoyed it i enjoy being with you on my lunch hour so now we're gonna get uh, go do my uh, walk i did a little walk this morning and then uh, i'm gonna go uh, have another walk at lunchtime usually i go after dinner well now it gets dark so early so i eat my lunch and if it's not too hot i go uh, and right now it's not bad but today and tomorrow it's supposed to be 80 so and i go after lunch so then i can have my two walks because i tr try to put my six miles a day so i do a big walk in the morning and usually at night was a, a shorter walk so at lunch it's just to get moving a little bit stretch a bit and then i'm good to work again so thank you thank you so much for um watching and if uh, if you get any question let me know remember the sale it's only november 16 17 18 and if you would like to get even more for your buck if you join my team this month stepping up got that promotion of 75 dollars you get to choose a hundred and $25 of your choice you can choose the product on sale at that price you choose anything you want except hostess uh, rewards so anything in the annual catalog or the holiday catalog and if it's something you choose like cardstock or ink that it's on sale you're going to get the uh, sale price also you go all the way to 125 in your shopping cart and then you're going to pay 75 plus tax it's shipped to you for free uh, that you don't place that under a uh, online order you have to go and like join my team just go at frenchystamps.com i get a q a to join my team if you get any other question please please contact me i would love for you to join it's no string attached if you want to run a business you can if not you can join for the discount so, and then if you join and you say this is not for me that's okay you become back my customer so that's about it my friend thank you again for joining me till next time happy stamping